Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Do you have a PlayStation 2? Have you ever been messing around in system configuration and went to the video output and accidentally clicked RGB? Oh no, we've got a black screen. Or have you ever pulled out your PlayStation 2 and had a black screen and had no signal or bought a PlayStation 2 that had a black screen with no signal? Have you got the black screen of doom? Well, I'm getting ready to show you how to fix that. Let's get over to the PlayStation. All right, here we are at our PlayStation 2. First thing you want to do is make sure it's turned off. Turn it all the way off. Wait a second. 2, 10, whatever. Turn it back on by the button in the back. See, we have a red light right over here. It's not on, so we'll turn the power on. You guys can probably hear the fan cutting on now. And what I like to do is just hit that reset button one more time. All right, now let me show you what to do on the controller. All right, and what you got to do here on the controller, you got to hit down, X, down, 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 X, left, X. You guys can see there. Well, there you go, and you can see it brought everything right back up. So if you have a PlayStation 2 that has a black screen with no signal, or you run across a PlayStation 2 with a black screen, no signal, that's how to bring it all back up, how to reset it. And the most important thing is to make sure that when you're, keep, when you're punching in the buttons, make sure you do them slow. Because I kept trying it, thinking it wasn't working, and I was doing it fast, so I had to slow down. And in a video that I watched on YouTube, if I remember the guy's name, I'll leave it in the description. He actually, uh, make, he was the only one that actually said slow down and do it slow and it actually worked, so. Hope that was able to help. Let's get to gaming.